Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie Caitlin. I'm a doctor, content creator, entrepreneur, and everything in between. Welcome to a new video on my channel. Today we're up close and personal, okay? If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do subscribe to my channel and join the family. We're growing slowly but surely. Um, and if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back again. In today's video, I want to talk about students, you know, like you guys know I was a student for a very long time. A very 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 long time and I was a student in different places I went all around the world trying to get this degree and I finally did and so I do feel like I have a lot of tips that are beneficial to a few of you if you will have them if you'll take them I mean I don't know this is free advice you can follow it don't follow it it's up to you but today I wanted to come and talk to you guys about your grades and how to actually get better grades like reasonable practical simple tips that actually work things that I did that helped me turn from like an average student to being top of my class okay okay so moving right on number one you want to make sure you're reading outside of your coursework guys I cannot stress this enough I don't care who your professor is who your teacher is who your supervisor is their notes are not the holy grail they are not the beginning and end of the course that you're studying okay you need to realize this so you'll find that your notes your lecturer's notes sometimes aren't enough to get you the grade that you need to be like okay wow i really got this this course this year i really smashed it you know like for the most part reading your teacher's notes is going to get you like just above you know the average but if you want to get like really good grades like and by good grades i'm talking like 90s 80s like high 80s 90s you know you want to like read textbooks read outside of just what's given to you you know you have like the the, the basis you have like the cake right now you have to add the icing the cream the the, the cherries the you know the sprinkles the everything and you'll make it like a Ooh, like a serving you know that's what you need to do so your lecture notes are the cake and then the icing and the toppings and everything is your notebooks podcasts lecture notes video uh, tutorials and all that stuff so before I move on to point number two, I just want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Brilliant is a website and app that offers a variety of math, science and engineering courses for everyone, no matter their age or knowledge level. As someone who's been a student for most of my life, I can confidently attest that the best way to learn concepts is by practicing it yourself. Brilliant lets you learn interactively with fun hands-on lessons. Interactive learning helps you learn six times more effectively than just watching lecture videos. They have an extensive course list of over 60 courses that encompass basic math, quantum mechanics, critical thinking, logic, physics, applied science, and more. Each course on Brilliant is built around principles of exploration, interactive learning, and deep understanding of core concepts. My personal favorites and recommendations for you guys as a start, logic, as well as knowledge and uncertainty. I started the logic course and I've been enjoying it thoroughly. I love that these help you challenge your critical thinking skills and get better at solving problems both in a learning setting to get better grades, but also to help you become better adapted to solving the day-to-day -day challenges of life. Brilliant helps you boost creative problem solving skills. You guys know I always stress how important it is to do active recall every time you study a new concept. Brilliant allows you to do that in creative ways. Instead of just memorizing, they teach you how to think by guiding you through fun problems. Each problem comes with a step-by-step -step solution that helps you understand the reasoning for each step. So what are you waiting for? Join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant with a special offer just for you guys. Use my unique link to get started with Brilliant's interactive lessons for free. But also, the first 200 people to do so will get 20% off the annual subscription fee. So hurry and check Brilliant out today. All the links will be in the description box and comments below. So thank you so much Brilliant for sponsoring today's video and moving right along. Number two, never ever 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 end a study session without testing yourself and seeing how much you actually retain, like how much of the knowledge is actually stored in here. I can guarantee you that 90% of the people watching this video, when they study, they just study, they read, close their books and they go about their day. Two weeks down the line, they come back to that content and they don't remember even half of it. And that's because you didn't do a, a, like a quiz, you didn't do like a, you know active recall to test like what you what, what you learned. Every time you learn something, no matter how small, how trivial you think it is, even do one question, do like one test online. There's so many, so many, so many quizzes available online right now. We're lucky to be a generation that lives in the era of the internet. Our parents didn't have this, right? Our grandparents certainly didn't have this. You can study something 
on your phone and use that same phone to quiz yourself and see if you retain the information you can download games and apps and you know cases and stuff especially as a medical student i loved doing lots of like um case scenarios using my apps i had so many apps if you guys want to do if you guys want me to do an updated video of all the medical apps that i use let me know and i'll be sure to do that this certainly helps you get bigger ways because not only are you testing your knowledge but by the time the exam comes because you've done so many questions chances of you being able to answer exam questions are even higher than had you just been reading 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 and then the first time you actually do a question try to answer a question is in the exam itself if you've been doing questions every day by the time the exam comes it's a walk in the park number three you want to make sure you're studying at the right time if you watch my videos from a very long time this is something you're probably tired of hearing me saying if you are a night owl you have no business trying to wake up at 4 a.m to do what if you are an early bird you have no you have no business trying to be studying at midnight what are you doing like why are you wasting your time love yourself like <laughs> love yourself you know um if you're a morning person sleep earlier i used to sleep by nine like by nine without fail i was in bed and i used to wake up at 4 a.m and i'd get my studying in and let me tell you that was the most productive i have ever been in my life when you work at your most productive time and actually get something done you feel even more productive so not only does this help you like get a, get better grades by working at your most productive time but it also helps you become more productive and encourages you and motivates you to study even more which in turn you get you, you get what my, you do you get what i'm going with this like do you, do you get what i'm saying if you're more productive in the afternoon don't be planning to go for lunch with mang mang like you have no business scheduling things that have nothing to do with productivity at your most productive times okay i'm sorry if i'm being harsh but you need to hear this number four procrastination will only end in tears i don't know who needs to hear this but stop telling yourself tomorrow 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 don't be that person that starts the semester and starts saying i'll start studying next week next week next week next week the week before exams finally comes and you realize you're. we've definitely all been that person that wakes up panicking where time wondering where time went when exams are on the corner and you don't know anything you don't even know where to start there's too much information and you just feel like it's late now you're just cramming and trying to just do the basics do the most important stuff just so you can get half that is not how you want to get better grades this video we're talking about how to get good grades how to get better grades if you want to do that you need to be studying regularly consistently starting early so by the time that the exam comes you've actually covered all the content and for preparing for exams you're just doing questions cases analysis quizzes you know you're just like touching up and you know doing the bare minimum um, I've had exams where I walked in flustered, stressed, I hadn't slept, I hadn't, I had diarrhea. You know when you're stressed you get diarrhea, like, and you don't even know if you're going to be able to sit that long to write the exam because your stomach is just, you know, rumbling, things are not okay. Because I wasn't prepared, because I procrastinated, because I started studying late, because I started studying the night before the exam. But I've also had exams where I had eight hours of sleep before the exam. I woke up, I made breakfast. I was chilled, I didn't even open a book, and I went to the exam and I wrote and I got a 99%. I've had all these, you know, I've had the best of both worlds. What the best world and the worst world rather. And let me tell you guys, it's not worth it. Don't procrastinate. It's not good for your mental health. You're gonna feel burnt out. You wanna to struggle to get your degree. You wanna wonder if it's even worth it getting that degree. Um, so start studying early, do the most you can at the earliest time possible. So that by the time that the, the exam comes, you know, it's just like, ah, uh, final stretch, baby, let's get this. I'm very extra in this video, I don't know why. So yeah, choose happiness over diarrhea. <laughs> so number five, never skip lessons. I don't know who told our generation that if a teacher is boring, if a lecture is boring, it's a waste of our time. What do you mean it's a waste of your time? You're paying school fees. Someone is paying school fees for you. That lecture is not a waste of your time. That lecture has been paid for by somebody. Respect that person. Respect yourself, child. Go to class, okay? Um, <laughs> that aside, I've obviously had lectures and, and teachers that I definitely thought this is boring. At least, especially having studied in China, in Ukraine, where the English isn't so great. And you know, this is facts, no shares or anything. The English isn't so great. Sometimes your teachers barely speak English and the lecture slides are in Chinese like it's like what am I doing here right but you find that 
being there teaches you discipline so not only are you being taught discipline and discipline is important for you to get good grades because you need discipline to wake up every day and study right um but also you can actually kill two birds one stone you can i used to take my my, my assignments and my projects <laughs> and sometimes my youtube editing to my video to my classes where i put the classes are boring and i'm not gonna get anything out of it but the most important reason why i say never skip a class is because most teachers most professors most lecturers they drop hints they give major 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 hints about what's going to come in your exam about the tests about the exam style about their question style in their classes like i definitely had lectures and i definitely had courses where i got 98 percent over 68 percent only because I used to go to class so I used to know like okay this might come in the exam so I'd spend time studying that mm -hmm. and then number six be organized okay you need to set a goal there's no way you're gonna get better grades if you don't plan to get better grades what do I mean by that what's your goal at the beginning of the term if you guys watched my new year prep series and my how to be a better student this year video you know exactly what I'm talking about you need to set an exact goal like this year I want my average to be 87% this year and I I always use 87 because that was my average that I wanted my average mark to be. Now that you've told yourself that you want to get 87, how are you going to get that 87? Are you going to get that 87 by sleeping every day? No. You're going to get that by setting a morning routine for yourself, an evening routine, an afternoon routine. Between your classes, what are you doing? Your study sessions, how have you planned them out? What have you planned to do? Do you have a, do you have a study plan to begin with? What is your daily, weekly study plan? Um, do you know your strengths and your weaknesses in your courses? Do you have resources? Do you have something to track your progress, like with your grades? Do you have assignment trackers? Are you staying on top of things? Are you planning the right amount of time to study as well as to do your assignments? You know, you have to be organized. and because your girl loves you and loves students this month i'm actually running a sale on all my student products so if you shop my if you go onto my website right now you'll find that all the student planners are currently on sale there's the student planner which has everything you need like from your finances student planning um habits everything like student life related and then you have just your study bundle which has the three basics the daily weekly and monthly study planner and then you have the individuals as well the daily planner the weekly planner the monthly study planner um to plan your studies so do check my website out and definitely go and shop yourself your planner while they're on sale and even afterwards you can go and get them if you don't want to shop directly on my website you're always free to email me dm me on my instagram page flourish by tsm and you can use paypal wechat alipay whatever it is that you want to use i have got you okay um you know it's not a spanish med video without a self plug right your plan should allow you to make your desired grades attainable and you should actually be able to track your progress. If you want to see more about planning and how to make better plans, how to actually achieve your goals, go and watch my New Year Prep series. I talked a lot about this at the beginning of the year. And so finally, consistency guys, consistency, consistency, consistency. You really want to, you know, give yourself time to get into the habit of studying, to make studying a lifestyle because studying is very hard to do. Like, Jokes aside, studying is very hard to do and you won't always have motivation for it and it's those days that discipline and consistency are going to keep you going. Like waking up and studying when you don't feel like it is the hardest thing to do. Staying up late when you really just want to be in bed on your phone watching series is really hard to do. Um, but you know, you have to think, okay, what is my goal? Why am I here? And it's going to be worth it. And yeah, like rest when you need to. Don't kill yourself over the degree. Like it's not worth it. Like take care of you and then take care of the degree. Okay? And have all the support you need. I'm here. You have friends. You have your family. Always be willing to reach out to those people. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys will adopt some or all of these points to help you get better grades. I can assure you if you adopt some of these, you are definitely going to level up your studies this year. Do check my studying playlist for more videos videos about studying and all of that buy my planner uh, before the sale ends and even after that because your goal needs the support and i always appreciate it don't forget to check brilliant art everything will be in the description box let me know how it goes for you and yeah let me know what other content you guys want to see from me any topic student related that you guys want to hear me talk about any tips i am considering doing my regrets and 
my best moments in uni like what worked for me what didn't work for me if these are videos that you'd want to hear me talk about like the things that i failed to do why i didn't do so well at certain points in my studies and why i did so well at other points in my studies definitely let me know if that's something you'd want to watch and i will be sure to do that for you otherwise thank you so much for watching today's video please leave a like leave a comment let me know how your studies are going what you're studying and i will see you in my next video love you guys